Hey guys, in this care plan, we will explore schizophrenia. So in the schizophrenia care plan, we're going to talk about the desired outcome, the subjective and objective data, along with the nursing interventions and rationales for each. So our medical diagnosis is schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a mental disorder that affects the brain. It's going to affect how the patient thinks, how they feel, and how they behave. This is a think bubble. <laughs> Schizophrenia is thought to involve the imbalance of neurotransmitters like dopamine, glutamate, and serotonin in the brain that change the way the brain reacts to stimuli. So the exact cause is unknown, but it's thought to be a combination of genetic, psychological, and environmental factors. The disease is thought to be triggered by an extremely stressful life event. So our desired outcome is that the patient will be able to communicate effectively and demonstrate reality-based processes. The, the patient will be able to demonstrate the ability to distinguish between reality and hallucinations. Now let's take a look at our care plan. So subjective data that you may, um, your patient may experience that has schizophrenia includes hallucinations, paranoia, in a change in personality due to the imbalances in the brain. Here's our brain here. So these in turn cause the patient to have difficulty sleeping and concentrating, which may create feelings of indifference. Objective data that you might notice in your patient with schizophrenia include inappropriate behavior, a flat affect, unprovoked outbursts, and this is all due to the disruptive brain chemicals and that are here in her brain. Here we go. So you may notice tense or anxious or erratic movements due to the paranoia and hallucinations. So the patient will likely have a decline in academic or work performance, especially when they're having these schizophrenic episodes. Now let's look at our nursing interventions. So you will obtain a history and assess the patient for hostile or self-destructive behaviors. Doing so is going to help determine if the patient is at risk for harming themselves or others. That way, the most appropriate precautions can be taken, especially according to the protocol of your organization. You want to provide non-judgmental, compassionate encouragement and just reorient them gently. You want to develop trust between you and the patient. It's hard for them to trust people. They're feeling paranoid. They're feeling like they can't trust anybody. So just be there for them. Listen and just try to help them maintain a touch with reality. You definitely want to make sure that you encourage communication about the patient's experience and their feelings. Listen to them. This is the biggest thing I can tell you to do. Listen. Help them to reduce their anxiety and encourage them to have a sense of control. You should redirect inappropriate behaviors and maintain boundaries. Do not let them walk all over you because they will try. Um, you want to prevent the escalation of behaviors and avoid manipulation in these patients. Make sure that you explain any procedure slowly and carefully. You want to reduce their paranoia. Remember, they're already paranoid. They already don't, might not trust you or the um, organization that they're in right now. So you want to help them to reduce their paranoia and you want to encourage cooperation. Avoid arguing and never confirm delusions ever, ever, ever. Do not just go along with something just because to make things easier. This patient has a lot going on in their head. Let's not make it any worse than it already is. Let's try to reorient them, okay? We want to reduce agitation. We want to reduce their confusion. They need that therapeutic communication to keep their mind on the right path. Administer medications as ordered, um, such as antipsychotics, to help reduce those symptoms. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you want to just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, Happy nursing.